you got a smartphone, right? You, you might be listening to this <laughs> on a train somewhere, and the phone is turned off, or at least the screen is turned off. It's sitting there. It's, it's powered on. And if somebody sends you a message, the screen blinks to life. How is it that if someone from any corner of the earth uh, dials a number, your phone rings and nobody else's rings? How is it that you can dial anybody else's number and only their phone rings, right? Uh, every smartphone, every phone at all, uh, is constantly connected uh, to the nearest cellular tower. Um, every phone, even when the screen is off, you think it's doing nothing, you can't see it because radio frequency emissions are invisible. Um, it's screaming in the air, saying, here I am, here I am. Here is my uh, IMEI and the IMSI, and you can search the, for these things. There are two globally unique identifiers that only exist anywhere in the world uh, in one place, right? This makes your phone different than all the other phones. Uh, the IMEI is burned into the handset of your phone. No matter what SIM card you change to, it's always going to be the same, and it's always going to be telling the phone network it's this physical handset. Then the IME SI uh, is in your SIM card, right? And this is what holds your phone number, right? It's the, basically the key, the right to use that phone number. And so your phone is sitting there doing nothing, you think, uh, but it's constantly shouting and saying, I'm here. Who is closest to me? That's the cell phone tower. And every cell phone tower with its big ears uh, is listening for these little cries for help uh, and going, all right, I see Joe Rogan's phone, right? I, I see Jamie's phone, I, I see all these phones uh, that are here right now. And it compares notes uh, with the other uh, network towers and your smartphone compares notes with them to go, who do I hear the loudest? And who you hear uh, the loudest is a proxy for uh, Proximity, for closeness, distance, right? They go, whoever I hear more loudly than anybody else, that's close to me. So you're going to be bound to this cell phone tower, and that cell phone tower is going to make a note, a permanent record, uh, saying this phone handset with this phone number at this time was connected to me, right? And based on your phone handset and your phone number, uh, they can get your identity, right? And when somebody is trying to get to a phone, it compares notes, the network compares notes to go, where is this phone with this phone number in the world right now? And to that cell phone tower that is closest to that phone, it sends out a signal saying, we have a call for you. Make your phone start ringing so your owner can answer it. And then it connects it across this whole path. But what this means is that whenever you're carrying a phone, whenever the phone is turned on, uh, there's a record of your presence at that place that is being made and created by companies. It does not need to be kept forever, and in fact, there's no good argument for it to be kept forever, but these companies see that as valuable information, right? This is the whole big data problem that we're running into, and all this uh, information that used to be ephemeral, right? Where were you when you were eight years old, you know? Um, where were you? Where'd you go after you had a bad breakup? You know, who'd you spend the night with? Who'd you call after? All this information used to be ephemeral, meaning it disappeared, right? Like, like the morning dew, it would be gone. No one would remember it. But now these things are stored. Now these things are saved. It doesn't matter whether you're doing anything wrong. It doesn't matter whether you're the most ordinary person uh, on earth, uh, because that's how bulk collection, which is the government's euphemism for mass surveillance, works. They simply collect it all in advance in hopes that one day it will become useful. And that was just talking about how you connect to the phone network. That's not talking about all those apps on your phone that are contacting the network even more frequently, right? Uh, how do you get a text message notification? How do you get an email notification? How is it the Facebook knows where you're at? You know, all of these things, these analytics, uh, they are trying to keep track through location services on your phone, through GPS, through even just what wireless access points you're connected to, because there's a global constantly updated map. There's actually many of them of wireless access points in the world, because just like we talked about, every phone has a unique identifier that's globally unique. Uh, every wireless access point in the world, right? Your, your cable modem at home, uh, whether it's in your laptop, every device that has a radio modem has a globally unique identifier. They can see everything about you, they can see everything about what your device is doing, and they can do whatever they want with your device. You, on the other hand, owned the device. Well, rather, you paid for the device. 
but increasingly these corporations own it, increasingly these governments own it, and increasingly we are living in a world where we do all the work, right? <laughs> we pay all the taxes, we pay all the costs, uh, but we own less and less, and nobody understands this better than the youngest generation.